Hi, good afternoon. This is the Home Handyman. Uh, coming to you again, I had some more questions off of the forum. Somebody said, can you do just a little short demo on the type of belt sander you use? Uh, because you seem to take the wood down very quickly when you're making signs and so forth. And I said, yeah, sure. It's The easiest answer, and I'm showing you a picture of it right here, is it's a Makita. Okay, the model is PAG-. GF30. Um, it has, well, it doesn't have, it's three, three inches wide, 21 inch long belts. 110. It has a variable speed control here. It goes from one, it goes all the way up to five. It has a trigger and there's a button on the side. If you depress it, it can stay on continuously. It has a dust bag, which is really easy to uh, get rid of the debris if you want to. You just twist it back and forth. And right here, there is this bar that slides off of the bag, and the bag totally opens. And you shake it out. And sometimes I hit it with my blow gun, and I would keep it real clean. Um, like I said in other videos, when I'm done using my tools, I use a blow gun, and I clean out all the ports. I clean it out real well. Um, my tools tend to probably last me longer than a lot of people's. Well, anyway, when you're done cleaning it, put it back in. Um, I said that it lasts me longer than a lot of people's because I don't use it like in an actual wood shop where you're using it every single day, you know. I, this is like a hobbies for me at home. I do a few wood signs. It may sit for a month or so or two months. I may grab it and use it again for something else. Uh, at the time, I needed one and one of the local hardware stores was going out of business and these were selling at the time for like about $125 uh, I think somewhere right in there anyway I managed to pick it up for 75 bucks at the time so I thought well I could spend 30 40 dollars or whatever they are out at Harbor Freight those will probably vibrate your hand into the ground and you know they're they're not the highest quality made belt sensors so I thought you know what I need to build up my tools with higher quality tools because like probably everybody else in the beginning I would buy what's on sale what's inexpensive and hey it works but probably doesn't work the best and you know some of these are just made quality wise better than others Makita makes a fantastic one it has a tracking knob right here after you put the belt on which I'll show you there's a big panel uh, like it looks like a switch but it's spring loaded you pull it out, pull it forward like this. The belt slides off, just like this. And then you put another belt on, smack it shut. If it's plugged in, hit the trigger. If you're not centered, that's what the knob over here is for. It will bring this into center. Now, the other interesting thing that I got when I was at Harbor Freight that will help you a lot Crab disc. It's right here. It's just a hard, kind of rubberish kind of a disc. I have a friend, he goes through lots of these belts, and I said, hey, look, try this. You plug it in, and as long as you don't have a lot of finish embedded on here and burned in all over the belt, if it's like a lot of sand or sanding, you know, dust and stuff like that plugged on there, you can go like this and go back and forth with it running, and it'll clean this belt almost back to a new condition but it's uh, my dust thing is if the belt starts to get worn throw it out um, I can't tell you how many times I've seen you know my friends they keep trying to use the same piece of sandpaper or sanding disc over and over and over and over again use it like somebody gave it to you for free okay and then get rid of it when it's not cutting that well anymore because it probably isn't it's probably so gunked up and you know you're not going to make like 80 grit 80 grit again just because you you know you hit it with one of these or something when they're worn out they're worn out you'll know they're not taking it down they're not sanding as effectively as they have been now the other thing that you can use and I've used before is like a nylon brush uh, I have one here it's just a cheap one you can go like this and scrub it and sometimes that knocks off some of the stubborn stuff, then turn around and use the rubber on it 
and you'll get more life out of them. You know, they're not real cheap, but they're not expensive either. You know, it just depends on what you buy. I do not buy Harbor Freight belt sanding belts. No way, no how. They're cheap. They rip apart after about five or ten minutes. This one that's on here is a Diablo. I bought it at Home Depot. You can get good quality ones that 3M makes and a lot of people online at Amazon and everywhere else. I buy good quality sanding paper. You won't regret it. Your projects will turn out much better. Okay, I hope that answers the questions off of the forum. My best advice, you know, take care of it. Keep it good and clean and blow it out with your blow gun. And buy good quality sanding paper. Don't buy cheap stuff and don't use the same paper forever. It's just not worth it. With this thing, with a 40 or 60 uh, grit belt, you just set it on there and push it back and forth with the grain like this, unless you don't care and you want to go cross grain, but then I hope it doesn't show. Anyway, you go with the grain. This thing will take the wood down incredibly fast. So watch what you're doing because you'll end up with it not level on one spot or another on one end or another. So what I like and what I use these for usually when I make wood signs, somebody will give me a piece of wood that to them is, you know, scrap because it's all dirty and funky. I clean it up. I hit it with my belt sander. I bring it down to a brand new condition. Let me show you one before we wrap this up. Hold on. This is like a 2 by 12 or something. This used to look like it had black stuff all over it and it was just really dirty. Now this is one I'm going to use for a sign. Anyway, uh, I can't show you because I've already cleaned it up, but I cleaned it. I wiped the surface down, you know, with mineral spirits. I let it dry and then I hit this with my belt sander. I haven't done anything else to it. I have a 60 grit wheel on the belt sander right now. That's all that I fit this with. And it took it back down to a very nice piece of wood. And I'll use this, you know, to make a sign on, you know, which is another video, a how to. But, you know, when somebody throws away something, I look at it and say, hey, I can clean that up real quick, hit it with my belt sander. And I also have a random orbital sander I'll show you in a little bit that I use after I've used my belt sander. Okay, I hope that answers all the questions. This is the Home Handyman. I hope you guys have a good day. If you find that these are interesting and I'll keep producing them, I mean, if I know that people are interested in it, hit the like button below. Hit subscribe for me and we'll do some projects pretty soon. Right now, a lot of the stuff I'm addressing is just uh, my thoughts on the tools that I have off of the forum I belong to, but we'll get to the how-to pretty soon. Thank you very much. You have a good day.